Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week I thought I would do something completely different for both me and my channel. I'm going to be doing a design with me video and I'm also creating a monthly kit for my happy planner. So because I've never made a monthly kit before, I just got all of the measurements and made all of the templates ready and that's what I'm flicking through here. The program that I use to create all of my kits is Photoshop. So I thought we would just kind of figure this out together and I thought I'd film it while I'm doing it as a couple of you have asked before if I was ever going to do a design with me video. It was a while ago so I'm sorry it's taken me so long to do it but I thought this would just be a good time to do it. So if you caught my plan with me for my bullet journal for September then you will know that I done a kind of woodland or wooden creature theme and I really wanted to have the same theme in my happy planner. So that is my inspiration for this kit, it's going to be based around woodland creatures. So the colour theme that I went for was just greys and blacks because I wanted to keep it really neutral. So this kit took quite a few hours, obviously I've sped this up and I have cut some bits out. I have tried to leave a lot of the footage in because I wanted it to kind of show how I work. So sometimes I will design a whole entire kind of sheet if you like and then I'll move on to the next parts and I will go back and then I will erase things because I think actually I don't like that and I'll kind of start again. I tried to keep some of that in here just so you can kind of see my thought process and how I actually work but I did cut some bits out and sped it up because nobody wants to sit and watch a five hour video. <laughs> These templates here are for the boxes that aren't included in the dates. So when you have your grid page with all of your dates on, you'll have a few boxes there that don't have any date dots on them because they're not included in that month. And if you did see my bullet journal video, then you already know I kept my drawings quite childlike and I wanted to keep it the same for this kit as well. If you ever wanted to know what I use to draw, then it's this Wacom tablet. It's literally just a black tablet and a pen. It does take some getting used to with this because you can't look at what you're drawing because obviously it's a black tablet. You have to look at the screen while you're drawing. It does take some getting used to. I'm not going to lie. It took me a very long time. I am getting used to it now or I have got used to it, I should say. But if you're ever kind of trying to draw with one of these tablets, just stick at it and you will get the hang of it. So I think it was on this deer I actually decided that I didn't want it all to be grey for the animals. I introduced a little bit of colour but I do kind of change the opacity down so it's not so kind of solid and bright. So I know I didn't have a plan with me go up this Monday, I had some bad news in the family when I come back from holiday, which is why I've been a little bit quiet, kind of everywhere really, I've kind of disappeared, but it's just because we had some bad news in the family and we had a funeral, so um, that's why I thought I would just sit down and film this video now because obviously I haven't put anything out. And hopefully next week I'm just gonna be kind of back to normal. Just filming this made me feel a little bit better as well because I always feel so guilty if I don't upload anything or if I'm really quiet on social media or on Instagram. So this made me feel better as well. But let me know down in the comments if you would like to see more Design With Me videos. I also keep flicking back to the washi template and I, all I do is I grab the right colour so that way the colour is the same on or the colour grey is the same on each sticker. That's why I keep flicking backwards and forwards to the washi sheet because I'm just grabbing the eyedropper and selecting that colour. I could have put all of the colours into my library but I was just being lazy. <laughs>
So who has to Google to see what a raccoon looks like? I do, yes, I do. I could not think what a raccoon looked like and it started to look a bit like a badger mixed with a skunk and I just had to go to Google <laughs> to find out what one actually looked like. So for my last box that I'm going to draw, if you know what this is before I finished, then pause the video and comment down in the comments if you got it before I finish what the drawing is. Let me know what creature you think it's going to be. I feel like the eyes kind of gave it away there, but if you did guess what this was before I drew the eyes, then well done. So with all of the creatures done, I moved on and just done the date strips and I'm just using the box template to make sure that my writing is the right width so it's not too long and not too short. So I wanted to keep the date strips similar to the washi, which is why I took the kind of black trees and put that all over the date strips as well. And then here I'm just trying to figure out how to make the days of the week stand out a little bit more. So you can see kind of lots of different things that I try. Sometimes I just do not have an idea and then it will come up a bit later. Next I'm going to create my quote box. I love having quotes in the Happy Planner. I think that's one of the things that really um, draws me to Happy Planners. It's their lovely quotes that they always have. So I definitely wanted to have a quote box to put into my spread. I wanted to find a quote that kind of matched my theme. So I went with this one that says, from tiny seeds grow mighty trees. Trying. 
Next I wanted to do the note section or the sidebar section and I wanted to create one big sticker that you kind of stick in there rather than all of the little ones. So I just titled it notes at the top and then using the full box as a template I just thought I would create some kind of checklists but without putting the hearts down the side so then you didn't have like a certain amount that you can list there you can kind of jot down anything that you wanted to and then at the bottom where I couldn't quite fit one I just made a half size one Then I decided to decorate them as well because if you don't use your sidebar that often or you've got the checklists just kind of sitting there then it looks like an empty checklist whereas this I wanted it to still look decorative and part of the kit even if you don't write on it. So I was trying to draw like an animal face here, I wanted to do one of them as an animal but to me it just looked like a stick man with no arms and a giant head and once I'd seen that I just couldn't unsee it even if I added whiskers. So I decided to make this into a bear face, I mean I still see the stick man with the giant head but it's not as bad as what it was. So once I'd finished all of the parts I just had to put them all together onto one template for me to cut out and I realised that I didn't have any icons so I decided to quickly make some and I also for the first time tried to make these corner ones which I think will be really good for like your payday or your bills. I've never made corner icons before so this was another first for me. So once I'd designed all of those I just had to put them on here and move just that one at the bottom that was in the way and then the program that I use to cut all of my stickers out is Silhouette Studio. Um, I think a lot of Etsy shop um, people will use that I think or well, they might use the Cameo one um, and I just print out my stickers once I've got them all on my little template. And once they're all printed out, I put it into my cutting machine. So while that was cutting away, I was like, well, what do I film now? So I gave you a quick pan of where I normally sit and do all of my work, whether it's designing or doing your orders. This is where I sit. I haven't actually used this kit in my planner yet so if you would like to see a plan with me for my September using this kit let me know down below. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and you can also hit the bell notification to be notified whenever I upload a video. I hope you guys are all having an amazing week and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!